Hey campers, how y'all doing? So, first thing to say is thank you to everybody who left supportive comments on my last video, the mental health one. I appreciate that. Um, it's always a risk to share my vulnerabilities, <laughs> but often people can relate, you know, and if it helps other people feel less alone, then that's a good thing. I actually, I felt, I mean, I made that video about three or four weeks ago and I did feel better the next day. I had a couple of days of feeling empty, really, just empty. And, and maybe it's just, if I'm looking at ADHD, then maybe it's to do with ADHD burnout, which is a thing apparently. But I was just completely, I think, mentally exhausted because my mind is constantly on the go. Even when I'm asleep, I'm constantly dreaming. So perhaps my brain just didn't get a chance to rest. And if I've been particularly busy with things, then maybe it was like, that's enough. Because I get to a point, I just want to stare out of a window. I don't have anything left to give. But it's hard because I've got another part of my brain. It's like, come on, you can't just sit there staring out of a window. Do this, do that, get on with that. Stop being lazy. <laughs> um, we shouldn't help really. If you're exhausted, you need to rest. That's the bottom line. Because, you, you you know, there's nothing else to give, is there? Uh, but we often don't. And we, we're not sort of... We don't live in a society that encourages us to rest. You know, it's 24-7 on the go, isn't it? We used to have Sunday as a day of rest. Not anymore. But I think that life is not better because of that. And we should have Sunday at least as a day of rest. But anyway, getting off topic. Well, it's not off topic. The point is... We just sometimes need to rest and maybe that's all I needed. Um, I don't find that easy because even if I'm not physically active, my brain is constantly going. Yes, so I did feel better and then I broke my van and felt a bit shit again. But I've had to accept that because I can't change it. I, uh, I'm feeling better, but I've had this all my life, this, and I've tried a lot of things, spent a lot of money, a lot of time, energy, therapists, counsellors, blah, blah, blah. Uh, which is why I come to the point where I think, well, maybe it is ADHD and my brain is just set up differently for whatever reason. Um, my daughter's just been diagnosed with ADHD and they say it's genetic. So she's got it from somewhere. Me. I got it from somewhere. Me dad, I'd say. If, if that's the case. So yes, that's why I'm sort of looking at that route. Anyway, apart from that, apart from that, I'm stuck at South Dare because my van's broken. I'll go into that at another point, different video, because um, I want to keep things in chronological order so that I don't forget where I am, because it's I'm easily confused. But this is awful. The views are lovely, of course, but the wind is horrendous, and I cannot stand it, and I can't do anything about it. I'm like a trapped animal. Um, I'm not just a trapped human. I don't have to be an animal, but <laughs> I could be a trapped human. Having to put up with it. I wanted to stop. Send thoughts of calmness to South Gare. Because normally I would move and go to my other park up where you don't even know there's any wind happening. Completely different. Thing is, my everything's so busy in my head, I need it to be calm and peaceful on the outside. And at the moment, it's, it's chaotic on the outside and on the inside. And it's too much. It makes me want to drink, actually, so that I care less about it. But that means an eight mile walk there and back. <laughs> I'm not that desperate for a drink. <sighs> anyway, um, oh yeah, I wanted to say thank you to everybody who bought me coffee. Thank you so much, you generous lot. That was brilliant. And that, that money will go towards my imminent repair, which is 300 quid. 300 pound that I didn't need to spend that wasn't necessary, that was avoidable, which is the worst thing about this, but it's done. So in no particular order, thank you, big thank you to John B, Jonathan, Sharon, Jodie Scott's lass, Andy, Mystic Hair, Wendy and Chris, Bridget and Janet, uh, and Keith and Bailey. I'm just overwhelmed with your kindness. So thank you so much, all of you. I also want to say thank you to Sean. I feel like I should have a golden globe in my hand here. <laughs> I'd like to thank 
who's been helping out is um taking me to the supermarket and got me water and bits and bats of gas um which has been a massive help because it's if i was to walk into red care it's probably around a seven mile round trip that's a long walk and i don't think i could do that especially if the winds blow me back yeah so i'm really grateful to him for helping out so thank you sean if you're watching and also to dave who offered me his lovely home his uh, mansion in south yorkshire oh his bungalow in barnsley <laughs> which to be fair would be like a mansion compared to my fan so that was a really kind offer if i was heading south then i might have taken you up on that but i'm hoping to go north and go to scotland i hope to we'll see we'll see how it goes i mean obviously this bill is taking away funds that could have been used on diesel so and obviously we're getting later into the season i don't know what midgets are going to be like i don't want to be attacked by midgets they don't tend to bite me but you know anything that's like me, 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 around your face ooh, it won't matter how beautiful the scenery was if i had that oh, i just couldn't enjoy it so i won't say any more i think i've said everything so thank you to anybody and everybody who's offered support help advice whatever thank you and if you've enjoyed the video enjoying the video or you just want to help me out then you can give me a thumbs up if your device allows it and consider subscribing because it's free right yo i'll shut up now and uh go so th this video is just about i think it's it's videos from when i was in bradford and stuff so it's old news now <laughs> but it's some kind of news so yes maybe you can watch that well you are going to watch it hopefully shut up now stop talking stop talking I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye for now. Yes, sir. You probably can't hear it, but when I turn my steering wheel, can hear and feel something under my feet. <laughs> Full of them in Bradford. <laughs> I fit in so well. Oh, what is that? <laughs> what I worry about though much as anything is whether it's safe to drive but there's nowhere in Bradford that I know of where I can go and say can you have a look at that you know there was a garage that I used to take my cars to I went there for years but then when I got my blast van that won't fit in garage so I'd stop going there so then I went to a different one got to know them quite well and then he sold up um, so I stopped going there so, look at these batteries. That one. That was what my old one was in my, in my other van. Started every time. Um, that's 95 amp hours. Mine is 87 in the van at the minute. The battery's like. It's about that, that, that much longer. The one that I've got in. It's not all about size, is it? <laughs> It's about what it can do. <laughs> but because uh, the other one was so good, I'm tempted to get that make again. Quite a busy old shop, is this? It's been here donkey's years of shop, champion motors fairs. Even hens manuals. They seem like a thing of the past, don't they? Van life. <laughs> oh, you need to know. I bet it isn't. No pictures of irate females. Loves in the shit. I bet. So I can't fit it today because we've got two staff off. But I said I'd do it tomorrow, so I'm going to come back tomorrow. So I'm going to get a Uwasa 95 amp hour one.
but a good battery is important isn't it i mean on little gem the battery they came with that went flat uh pretty soon after i bought the van and then i got the uasa one from here actually and he fitted it and and that was good even when i sold the van it was still a good battery so that's what i'm going for more expensive of course but uh such is life i just hope it's safe to drive i'm worried about that really it's probably to do with the universal joint again i wonder if i could go to the scrap yard actually he seems quite knowledgeable, the guy that I speak to. D Damien, is he called? Damien. I might even try that, you know. So, I'm at the Van Breakers. I've just spoken to a guy, obviously works here. It's not the one I've spoken to on the phone. He's had a look. It does fit, the, it, the universal joint feels a little bit wobbly. But he says it won't go anywhere. Just get it looked at when I get to Redka. I hope he's right. So that's what I'll do. It might just need tightening up. I don't, I don't know how to do that. would rather do that, personally. Um, but if, if that's all it needs. Oh, I never ask enough questions. Now I'm thinking, should I just go in there and say, do you think I need a new one? But they're not mechanics. Although, when I speak to Damon on the phone, he does sound very knowledgeable. It's very helpful. I don't, no, I don't think they're a cowboy setup at all. Uh, so I'm just thinking if I need another part, while well, I'm here. <laughs> Mind you, this end it first class, it comes the next day. So, for a fiver. Can't say far in that, can you? But I would like that. It needs to be looked at, bottom line. So, as standard with this van, come to get a new battery. Just a new one, look. You see, difference in size is about two cockers. And we're struggling to get it in. It's already knocked these lugs off here. Now if they get knocked off, perhaps. Look at what go in. Uh, the damn thing. I wonder if it's side as well though. <sighs> Nothing's ever simple with this fan. So I've gone for a small battery that fits in. Um, so it's the same as the last one in terms of power it fits in, I mean you can see the gap it's quite a bit smaller um, but this post is uh, not brilliant so I need to this connector should I say, it's not brilliant so I need to get another one it said you can get post connectors so I could stack these things um, I think there's, there's about what seven things on there <laughs> but that is, you can't can't tighten that any better so if, if this is as tight as it's ever been maybe that's part of the problem this one's look good though that's nice and solid is that one that's what i'll do get a post connector mm -hmm. 